All right, uh, so my talk, again, is pretty quick. I just wanted to give an update on where we are with the uh, deployment of the Java certificates. Um, last time I showed you the deployment through Tomcat. Uh, we now have deploying through uh, Wildfly and EAP and also just deploying standalone Java key stores. Um, so the, I've got a, a demo project set up here and uh, there's two, uh, two projects that I want to show off. Um, Wildfly has the notion, I mentioned this before, of uh, standalone and domain modes. Uh, standalone is just a, a single instance of Wildfly running on its own and uh, it's self-contained and self-configured. Um, domain mode is a little bit different in that there is a, a master and a number of slaves that connect to that and uh, the slaves get their configuration from, from the master. So this actually gives us uh, a bit of an awkward situation when deploying key stores because the domain masters are, are set up to deploy apps and settings, but there's never really been a way of deploying uh, other files like key stores. And it's a bit of a, a gap, I think, in the, in the domain model that, um, that Wildfly and EAP have, uh, but it's something we, we can certainly fill here with, uh, with Octopus. So um, the, the process for deploying to a domain is actually to first deploy a standalone uh, key store file to the slave machines. Uh, so in this case, confder has been set up as a, as a variable. Um, go back to library sets. Uh, so out of necessity, a Windows and a Linux machine have different uh, paths where the, the file will be saved. Uh, so while the absolute path is uh, different on each machine, they're both deployed to a uh, configuration directory. That's significant because um, what we'll actually do is once this file has been, uh, once the, the certificate maintained by Octopus has been converted into a Java key store and saved to the, uh, the slave machine, we then configure that uh, certificate using a, a relative path. So in this case, we're, we're referring to this key store file and we're saying that it's in the uh, domain configuration uh, and that way the, uh, the same configuration is applicable to all slaves uh, regardless of their um, the actual uh, absolute file system that they, they end up being on. Um, so deploying to the uh, domain is two step process. Um, deploy all to deploy the key stores to all the slaves and then uh, set up the domain server uh, with the um, with the configuration of the certificate uh, standalone is a little bit easier uh, we can just deploy a certificate to the machine we're on there's no there's not a two-step process here uh, and actually it's um, there's a there's a much happier path where we just assume a bunch of defaults and uh, we can just deploy a new key store and, uh, and have it configured. So as you can see, apart from logging in, um, the, only, uh, the only real config we have here is to select the, the certificate managed by Octopus and uh, everything else will just be done for us. Um, so just to, to quickly prove that this does work, uh, this is a, a standalone instance of Wildfly and uh, it has been configured already with uh, a self-signed certificate, which we can see, uh, we can see here. This, uh, this is the default um, value you get when you create a self-signed certificate through OpenSSL. And uh, this guy here is a slave on a Wildfly domain. And again, he has the, the, the self-signed cert. So uh, it's, it's not much to look at. Um, actually, one thing I will quickly show off is what these certificates look like. Um, so I've logged in here to the um, one of the, the uh, Linux boxes that we have set up with um, Wildfly. And in this directory, you can see here, these are all uh, just a bunch of uh, key stores that I've created with various tests. And uh, we can 
verify that these are actually valid. Uh, valid Java key stores by, uh, by inspecting them with the, the key tool. Um, so the going forward, even though we've specifically only supported um, uh, Tomcat and, uh, and EAP and Modfly with these uh, steps, the ability to deploy a, uh, a standalone um, uh, key store, which is this step here, means that you can actually export the octopus certificates to, uh, to any Java app server. They'll just have to um, configure the, the actual integration with the key store itself. But we can now get that data out in a, in a format that um, Java can reference. So that's all I wanted to show off. Um, uh, if there's any questions, I'll have to mute myself and go back to the main, uh, the main console. So does anyone have any questions? Oh, I think we're all good. All right, well, uh, we'll just switch over to the main console and uh, I think Pavel's got a, a demo for us.